writers. It's so nice to see you. This week, it's going to be spelling week, and we're going to think all about different strategies for how to spell as we write and check our spelling after we write. I'm going to wake Ranger up because he's pretty excited about spelling. Ranger, come on over here. What do you want to tell the kids about spelling? Huh? What do you want to tell the kids about spelling? <laughs> Thanks, Ranger. I'm excited too. Okay, okay, reader, writers, let's get to work here. So in spelling, I'm gonna add a new part to our chart, right? Spelling is part of editing, right? So we're gonna be editing our writing. Last week we learned about revising and we're gonna be editing. And so I put spelling up here. And here's our big chart. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attach it. Oh, Poppy's being a little crazy, sorry. So we're gonna attach it right here because we edit and we revise, right? And so when we edit, we do that as we write and we edit after we write. All right, so let me show you, I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm gonna show you some of my writing, the story I was writing about Ranger and his coach, right? And I tried to write it from Ranger's point of view. So let me get out a piece of that story and I rewrote it with some spelling errors just so you'd be able to see how I'm gonna do that work. Okay, so you can see my screen right here, right Raiders? There you go. And so here we go, and I wrote that first sentence, and watch what I do to do this spelling, okay? I'm gonna use a strategy called, does it look right? And I'm gonna reread my writing and say, does it look right? And now you might know which words are misspelled here and you might not, and either is okay. We're just gonna try the strategy. So this coat, do those words look right? I'm gonna say yes, is tight. I'm gonna say tight doesn't look right to me. So what I do is sometimes I underline a word, and then what I try is I try in the margins, like if the margins are over here, or you could use a piece of scrap paper. Um, I try different kinds of spelling. So I think in my head, so what are ways to spell the I sound, right? So here I use silent E, and I might try the Y. Y says I sometimes, so tight. That doesn't look right. I might try I-G-H, that says I, tight. And you see, I'm like, oh, that looks right. Do you see how then I can mark it and then move it here, or I could cross this off and write tight. I try it in the margins. That's what helps me to do it. So I, I say, I go through my writing and say, does that look right? And if it doesn't, I try it over here. Let's try it again. This coat is itchy. So itchy, again, doesn't quite look right. So let's try it. So I think the it part looks right and the ch is definitely right, but the e at the end isn't right. And I know IE sometimes says I, right? Itchy, that could work, but it's not quite right here. So I'm gonna try another sound of, at the end of a word, itch E is usually a Y. Oh, that looks much better. Do you see that, writers? Do you see how I did that work? So one strategy, writers, we use when, we, when we're trying to spell is does it look right? And I want you to remember, oh, Ranger's going back to a spot. I want you to remember that we don't just think about does it look right at the end of our writing? We do that when we edit, but we also, as we're writing, when we come across a word, we're like, ah, it doesn't quite look right. It's okay to then stop and just try and spell it in the margins. All right, happy writing, writers.